you guys doing? It's been forever. I know, I know. I just got off the phone with my mom and she was like, Mija, you need to do videos. And I'm like, you know what? Freak it. I'm gonna do a video. My husband has a laptop, okay? I do have my computer, my Mac computer, PC, iMac computer. Something's wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it, guys, but it's making like a loud thumping bumping a vibrating noise i don't know what's wrong with it i'm not a computer person i'm not a geek so i'm just like you know so this video is just gonna i'm not editing it it's just gonna be sent out like this this is going to be oh my god i forgot your name instagram we're messaging each other back and forth he is from england oh i love that country wants to know about my tongue ring uh sorry if i'm doing this i just had coffee and a bean and cheese taco but anyway okay long story short i've had my tongue stretched for five six years i had it all the way to a four um guys if y'all don't like anything about uh, stretching the tongue or stretching the bodies and you're gonna be like that's stupid who does that we do it's a community we are a community of stretching our bodies it's a thing in some cultures it's considered beauty um so if you don't like this please don't watch seriously so i had my tongue stretched all the way to a four i my tongue because that bar was so heavy it did fit a two a two did fit but the barbell was so heavy and bulbous that when i would close my close my mouth it was like like my double chin would stick out even more because they would stick out that much so um sorry if i'm sitting on the couch and it's not really attractive my baby's right here mm, and I'm... you can hear him hey get away <laughs> and like, no. no honey i only have 15 minutes <laughs> so um <laughs> not funny mm. honey i only he's trying to hit my phone Honey, I, this is why it's hard to do anything. I do have an appointment today. It's another video. Um, honey. Okay, sit right there. They're fine. So, I had it. <laughs> I had my tongue stretched to a four. It's because he thinks I'm talking to somebody. That's why he's doing this. So, anyways. Okay, sorry, two minutes. Okay, so how I did it, which I'm pretty sure if y'all are watching this, y'all have your tongue stretched or you've seen a bunch of videos and you're just coming across mine. So you, I, in the beginning, did it with a taper. I stretched my tongue with a taper. I think the first couple of jumps were easy because my hole was very holy and I was able just to like slide a bar in. But with the other ones, I did have to stretch it. This is before I knew anything about stretching tongues. I used a taper. If y'all don't know what taper is, look into it. It's usually what people do when they're um, stretching their ears. This, this remember this is skin so it's easy it is painful still if you do it the right way and you're not tearing yourself the the skin is easy this is a muscle it hurts you're eating that's why you want to make your jumps slow and comfortable because you do talk you do drink you do eat and it's painful i couldn't eat for days and i'm not talking about like when you first pierce your tongue and it's sore guys i'm not talking about something else like you feel tearing it's when you're piercing your tongue, like the needle itself is like a little tube and it's very sharp. So the chunk of your meat comes out, it's a little bit different, but when you're tearing something, it's it's more painful. I know what I'm saying. So long story short, um, I did stretch all the way to a four. The last jump was way easier. There's no way I could have used a taper because I would have done big damage. So what I did was use a taping method. You do one little thing, put it in, don't don't go too crazy if you're like okay i still you know I, you know i could fit more just go slow there's no rush okay um wait for a couple couple more days use another strip of tape put it in there and do it and so i did that for the four to drop down to the four for the two um i was just curious because my bar was real loose in my tongue so i kind of just slid the i put the two in there and it slid in easy that's my body it's not everyone's body so don't go putting a two in your tongue and you know it doesn't fit like you just want to be safe i just know my body and a two slipped right in but like i said the bar was big do i still have my tongue stretched i do have a hoe um excuse me i might have coffee in my tongue the guy did ask me i'm sorry i forgot your name the guy did ask me if uh if it's still open i'm not sure because i know tongues they do close i have not tried a regular barbell because i have to go through my packages all my stuff so i don't know I'm, I'm actually very curious because i do miss it why did i take it out it was not bothering me i'm lying there's times that you i've never bit down on mine but there was times that i would my tongue would get sore 
is something if i chewed too much or if i was swallowing too much not like that um there was times i'd wake up and my tongue was real sore so that's not why i took it out i took it out because i joined um uh, jujitsu i was in bjj and with the breathing and the moving around and stuff it was getting kind of dangerous i know it sounds crazy like how is it dangerous it was dangerous because that bar is so heavy in my tongue and i'm like breathing crazy and i did, i honestly this is gonna sound crazy i felt like that barbell was suffocating me because when you can't breathe from training like that in a heavy gi the bar just felt like it was going in the back of my throat guys i was like okay i love jujitsu i'm taking it out i took it out and i'm not in a jujitsu no more because daycare not daycare but um child someone taking care of my child was getting a little dangerous this kid is a pain in the butt and he's very hard to deal with my son my oldest son was helping us take care of him in the building not at home my son would go first then it was an adult class and it was too much if i could barely handle him i'm asking too much from my from my oldest so it was kind of a waste i do miss it am i gonna stretch it again i don't know i still have all the bars here i have everything i need it's just i don't know if i want to do it all over again because it was so much but i miss it um what is it like to be without it it is different. It's at first I felt like I was talking about that because my bar was so heavy and my tongue's like so strong and buff that it just felt talking was weird. When I would drink something, I felt like I was going to choke because I was so used to swallowing with something in my mouth that when it wasn't there no more, I water was spilling out of my mouth because I forgot how to swallow. Is that weird? Eating was very weird because I was so used to having it. So do I want it back? Mm. I do. Mm. Mm. My hole is crooked because my vein, the way it sits, so they had to kind of go around it. But oh, sorry, I closed you. I have you on my phone case. I'll show you my phone case later. It's my birthday gift from my husband. He bought me the Louis Vuitton folio. Um, I I've got good and bad. I've got like I want one, and I've got like I would never spend that much money. But I'm like, bitch, my husband did. So calm down. But anyway, uh. Uh, yeah. I've never tried the bar. I'm kind of curious now. I just, I don't know where they're at, guys. There's some boxes that I haven't gone through because I don't need for them to be taken out. I just left them in that one closet. But anyways, I'm trying to think of other questions. Um, so I think the main one is, am I going to stretch it out again? I don't know. I really do miss it. But it, it was, once in a while, it would get painful. It would, it would, I would have pain in my tongue if I chewed gum for too long. Or, you know, it's like the muscle working out with a big hole um another question i got that uh was why why would you want to stretch your tongue this person was just being negative <sighs> i don't know um i'm not a gothic person i'm not you know like an emo person you know i mean i have like crazy thoughts sometimes but i, I dress like very girly like this you know i have my ears i did have these guys stretched i can't remember how big they were jennifer if you're watching this put in the comments how big they were but surprisingly I mean, they were big enough I could kind of like stick my finger, my pinky. But look, I got lucky and they went back down to like being small. Um, So that, um, I do miss these guys being stretched, but I don't I don't want anything crazy. I just want big diamonds. So do I want to stretch them again? I don't know. Like, I, I don't see myself getting back <clears throat> into jujitsu. I just don't just because it was, I mean, I could roll here with my son. I still have my geeks. I bought it, but. Um, I just feel like, and I couldn't have my nails done, which y'all guys know I don't have pretty hands and having my nails done, which I don't get them done. I'm sorry. I do them myself, but it's just, I can't have everything I wanted being in jujitsu. Um, so I don't know. I'll let y'all guys know about that. My husband said he likes it without my tongue. <laughs> so, I'm not trying to get y'all to have any crazy thoughts, but just like the kissing and stuff. He says, I kiss so much better without it. My ears stretched. I do miss them. Um, I, I don't want to do anything crazy like to show off that it's stretched. I just like having those big things. But I do want pearls and I don't know if you can get pearls. But I don't know. I just, I just want to leave my ears alone. Um, do I want any more pearls? So I hope that answered your guy who's mess messaging me on Instagram. I hope that answered your questions. But for any tattoos and piercings, I do miss my nose ring. But I feel like my nose is a little bit bulbous. Um, I did have my Monroe. Um, the guy did pierce it like way the fuck over here. I didn't like that. I wanted it to be like right here, but whatever. I don't miss that because I caught myself playing with it too much. And that's just stupid. Like, why are you going to have a piercing and you're playing with it? I don't want anything else. What I do want is my um, 
my tattoo on my side. So if y'all guys know or have watched me before, I have a hip tattoo. It's a butterfly. That was when I was a double zero and weighing 96 pounds. Um, but after having my first son and getting almost 200, uh, to almost 200 pounds at 5'3", I'm 5'3", I was almost 200 pounds and I stretched out really big. So that butterfly is more like a pterodactyl, if you will. It's not even a butterfly no more. So my goal is to get back into like a nice shape a nice body weight no like chunky stomach cover that up and have something that's going to come up to my ribs and down my thigh so for tattoos that's what i will like i just got to find a good tattoo artist and i gotta save money for it but as for my tongue guys i hope that answered all the questions uh, about my tongue um i do miss it um did i even answer that question about why i did it yeah it's, it's i didn't show it off you know it's not like i'm over here like People, honestly, people would even notice I notice I had it unless they're looking at my mouth in a weird way and they're like, oh, I saw something is shiny in your mouth. And I'm like, shiny? I'm like, oh, I have my tongue pierced. It's pierced. And they're like, let me see it. And when I take it out, they're like, oh my gosh, why is that bar so big? I'm like, oh, it's because it's stretched to a four. I got different reactions. One is like, oh, that looks gross and painful. And some are like, I didn't know you can stretch your tongue. I want to do that too and I would tell them it's a process you got to be careful you can get an infection like if you have a tear in your tongue it can get infected it could stink like not that it happened to me I, it's just common sense especially with the mouth um so I've got different reactions I didn't I didn't I don't care about the negative reaction because like I said I never showed it off it was just something I had for myself and it was sneaky it was a secret and um, I don't know I just wanted to do it but anyways guys I miss all y'all guys so much um I hope I can freaking load this because last time I tried to load the video, it said for some reason, like, it's not doing it. It was less than 15 minutes. I don't know. But I love you guys so much. I really want to be back. I, I promise, guys, it's so hard with this kid. This kid is something else. I don't know how parents do. I don't know how YouTubers do it with a bunch of kids. And I think they have channels with their children. Like, I, my son watches the Funnel Vision, and they're, like, all family. But I love my family, but I feel like that's boring. <laughs> Just kidding it's just boring <laughs> i like watching them i just my family is just different but anyways i love all y'all guys so much um i do try to go on live me i don't know how that works on that thing but i do go on there and i do have people that follow me but i just really want to be back i want to start doing things i have people that are asking me for video requests i have people asking me about mukbangs i want to do mukbangs i could fucking eat and i promise you i can out eat all those people that i watch I, I'm obsessed with Nikocado Avocado, if y'all guys watch mukbangs. And I'm just like, oh, and I was talking to my mom about it this morning. And she goes, Mija, you can eat like that. <laughs> and I was like, I know I can. Um, I had four tacos this morning and I could have ate four more. Yeah, uh, I can eat a lot. But anyways, I have ideas, guys. But I don't want to say too much. And then I can't, I don't, I can't come on here because a kid or, you know, I have stuff going on, which is another video. But I love you guys all so much. Thank you for my new subscribers that I got. Thank you for the comments. I'm still getting comments still today. I have my email going off of people. Either they're negative or positive. Still, I'm still getting comments. And I just want to say I love all y'all guys. I really do. Even though I don't know you, you don't know me. It just makes me feel good. Y'all, Honestly, what's bringing me back is you guys. Y'all still commenting and sending me comments on my Instagram. It really makes me feel good. It just like brightens up my day. Y'all have no idea. I'm serious. Like I'm not just saying that. I just feel like oh, someone still loves me. You know, I just feel very wanted. I know that sounds very cheesy, but I just feel, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the end for me and YouTube. So anyways, I love you. I hope y'all guys have an amazing day. Um, leave in the comments. If y'all are still watching me, leave on the comments what, what the next video y'all want it to be. Because I know it's reading y'all's comments, but... I'm gonna do that anyway. Just let me guys know. Let me know some now. You see, I need more coffee. Let me know what y'all want to see. Leave it in the comments in the bottom. If you like this video, like it. If you don't, don't like it. And I hope y'all guys have a great day. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to hang this up now. I don't know. <laughs> I love you guys.